Hi, Mark Staples here in the in Big Cottonwood Canyon, and geez, look at this snowpack. It's 120 centimeters, pushing four feet deep. This is amazing. We've got two avalanche problems. One is in the new snow. That's right here. It's just starting to get a little bit more cohesion. We might be able to see some soft slabs. Definitely, if the wind moves it around, you get avalanches breaking right there. It took a little bit more force in my extended column test to get this old snow down here to fracture. That's the second avalanche problem. And that is on this persistent weak layer of old snow from November. This is getting more stubborn. Now that we have a nice thick blanket of snow on it, it can start to heal. The trouble is we're adding some stress, especially with the addition of windblown snow that will bump up the likelihood. And if you trigger one of these, you're gonna get a pretty big slab crashing down. So, the old snow near the ground, gaining strength. That's the good news, we've got great coverage. The new snow up here might be sensitive for the next day or so, but that's gonna stabilize quickly. And down here near the ground, we're not looking at something that's gonna last for months all the way through the season. It will start healing, it is healing. Uh, just a little more patience. We'll be tracking the evolution of this and let you know when this is something we don't need to worry about anymore. Okay, here's the disclaimer. Not everywhere is this deep. This is amazing for December 8th. Super psyched to see this. It's a double-edged sword. One, if this uh, weak layer at the ground breaks and makes an avalanche, it's gonna be big. The good news is this is helping it heal. Now here's the disclaimer. Not everywhere has this deep of a snowpack. The Uintas are a great example, and this weak snow near the ground is incredibly weak. I guarantee you there's some other areas out there. We haven't uh, mapped them out yet, but uh, deep areas for now can make a big avalanche. They're on their way to recovery. Shallow areas are remaining weak. We'll see how they develop.